this video will cover the steps to configure a WDS link, a wireless distribution, uh, between the following Orinoco AP9100 series access points. Uh, we could do between two uh, AP9100R access points and between a AP9100 and an AP9100R uh, access point as well. All right, so let's go ahead and cover uh, the steps on setting up uh, a WDS wireless bridge between two AP9100R ruggedized units. So what I have here is two radios. They are um, configured already. Okay, here's number one and here's number two. Okay, right, so uh, the process by itself is actually fairly simple. There's a uh, few steps that we need to follow. All right, so the first step is we need to make sure is that we have, are in the same operational mode, channel bandwidth, and then we are in the same frequency. Okay, so in this particular case, we're using AC, 80 megahertz, auto channels disabled, we're using channel 40. Go to the second radio, as you can see, we have AC, 80, disabled, and channel 40. Okay, that's the first step. Second step is we need to uh, now configure WDS. So we're going to go ahead and click on multiple VAPs. Right, now it's going to take us to our VAPs. Here's our 5 gigahertz and our 2.4. Now generally you want uh, uh, your WDS bridge on the 5 gigahertz which leaves your 2.4 open for uh, traffic. Okay, For your wireless traffic and this is going to be for your bridge traffic. Okay, So the way you configure it is go ahead and uh, just select one one of these. Uh, it's um, only allowed one per radio on the 9100Rs. Uh, so you can't have multiple as like you could have with the indoor uh, 9100 radios. So go ahead and select the first one. Just go ahead and click edit. Okay, so uh, by default set to AP. Okay, so then we have two types, uh, M A and B. Okay. Um, make sure that one radio is A, like this one is, and then the second radio is going to be B. Okay. Uh, the next step is we're going to swap the BSIDs, uh, the wireless MAC address. So basically, we're going to take the wireless MAC address of our B radio. We're going to copy it, and we're going to go over to our a radio and we're gonna paste it okay because that is our peer okay we're gonna go ahead and click OK and we're gonna end up doing the exact same thing we're gonna copy this guy from the A radio and we're gonna go ahead and paste them to the B radio okay that is generally that is generally all that you need okay now the last um, thing that is going to have to be configured or has to be the same is the security okay, and the security profile. Now, by default, uh, the security def uh, the security profile is enabled, but it is actually set to none. Okay, so if it's going to be your first time setting it up, you could go ahead and select whatever. Uh, WD uh, whatever security you want now you can have different security packages so maybe if you want um, your Wi-Fi clients on the 2.4 to have a different security than your uh, WDS bridge you could have that just go ahead and click add go ahead and add whichever one you want okay and then we go ahead and set it and just for an example we edit it and then we just go ahead and do WEP. Okay, now we have two security packages. So now if we go back to our Wi Fi and their multiple VAPs, we go over here, see there's two of them. Okay, so we could select whichever one we want for our WDS and then whichever one we want for our Wi Fi clients. But make sure that you are using the exact same security profile this exact same key between uh, your A and your B radio. If not, it is not going to work. Okay, so um, after all the configurations have been um, configured correctly, 
uh, go ahead and uh, make sure that you click OK. Okay, and then you also go ahead and hit commit. And then it's also going to ask you to reboot. This is going to go and start flashing green. Okay, so we got to have OK you know, at the bottom when you are in one of the uh, SSIDs down here in one of the VAPs. You, know, you have OK over here. So just make sure that you click OK everywhere, commit, and then reboot. Okay, so now that we've uh, covered the steps on how to set up uh, a WDS bridge between two 9100R radios, uh, let's go ahead and cover the steps on how to set up WDS um, between a 9100R and a AP 9100A indoor unit. Alright, so what we have here is the uh, the regularized and then this tab what we have here is the uh, 9100 okay so let's go ahead and uh, set up WDS alright so on the R radios go ahead and click on um, Wi-Fi config alright so what we need to make sure is that our operational mode our channel bandwidth and then our channels are the same between the two radios okay so we are um, we got that AC, we're at 80 megahertz. Uh, we have a static uh, channel of 161. When we head over to um, the 9100, okay, on the wireless interface, and then we're going to be doing it under the 5 gigahertz, okay. Um, we have our operational mode. Here is our channel bandwidth, and here is our channel, okay. So we are pretty much good there. If any of these do not match, then uh, you're not not going to be able to establish a a link okay next is uh, configuring the radios to actually pull, uh, act as wds uh, um, clients to each other right so on the um on the r radio go ahead and go down here to multiple vaps okay uh, as mentioned prefer to do this on 5 gigahertz and leave the 2.4 for your wireless access so 5 gigahertz as uh, as your bridge and then 2.4 for your uh, Wi-Fi so we went ahead and selected the uh, the first VAP okay and go ahead and click edit now you have type here either by default it's an access point either have either an A or B okay so one is going to be an A and then the other one is going to be a B so in this case we're going to select A okay uh, and then on, in this case we're going to go to VAPs, okay, and I'm going to select the first VAP. We're going to click Edit, and you can see he's a B, okay. The next step is to uh, interchange the uh, BSSID MAC address, okay. So here is this radio's MAC address, okay, and here is its uh, BSSID. Here is its uh, MAC address, okay. So what we do is just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here, and we're going to copy this. Okay, and then we are um, going to paste it here. Okay, uh, the very last bit that needs to be the same is security. Okay, if you are using security, make sure that uh, the security key is identical. Okay, if you're not using security, that, that, that's fine. Uh, just make sure that because by default it's AP security, that's the profile. Okay. So if we click back here, we go to security profiles, select here, and then we do edit. By default, this is disabled, so this is something that configured. So uh, you got to make sure that uh, that this uh, that the A radio and the B radio, okay, have the same security. Once again, by default, AP security is the is the default profile, uh, but by default, there's there's no security. It's disabled, right, so just make sure that your uh, security matches. After that is done, uh, just go ahead and click OK. All right, let's go back to Wi-Fi config, multiple VLANs, peer, and then edit. Okay, after that is done, just go ahead and click OK, and then commit, and then um, it's going to ask you to reboot on the. Um, 9100 let's go ahead and click OK and commit uh, 
just make sure that both radios are not connected to the Ethernet, same Ethernet switch at the same time you're going to create a loop. Uh, go ahead and dis, uh, disconnect one radio from the Ethernet port, and then um, after the R radio comes back, you are going to see that there is a link. You know that there's a link uh, because this is going to turn uh, green on you. Okay. Also, if you look at station statistics, that are, it, you should also see our radio pop up here. Okay. This is going to be our... Um, uh, this is in the case that there is a WDS link because it, it's, it's actually a station. And if you look at the B radio, exact same thing. If you look at station statistics, you can see that we have a, a link. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how we verify if there is a WDS link. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.